Batting with Jess is really fun. We tend to have a bit of a laugh out in the middle and I think we both like to go after the bowling together so we, we sort of complement each other really well and I think um, as we saw over in India we were able to create some big partnerships. Our batting partnerships always sort of end up with a run out. Yeah, that's right, we have had a couple of run outs. We tend to finish our <laughs> partnerships with a run out so it's a bit disappointing but hopefully we can rectify that in the future. Um, which was pretty much what happened in India but every time we sort of bat together we're pretty comfortable and um, I don't think there's ever been sort of um, any time that I felt uncomfortable batting with Meg, so yeah, to get a couple of good partnerships, especially because we're both Victorian as well, has been really good. <laughs> yeah, having camaraderie with, with Jess at the crease and obviously knowing her game quite well, obviously playing for Victoria, um, it really helps at a national level as well, so it's really good to feel comfortable at the crease with who you're batting with. I've sort of learnt that you have to be um, a bit pa more patient. Um, if she's going, you've got to just sort of let her go, um, but at the same time, she's really good if, if I'm going, she knows that. You know, her role is to sort of try and get me on strike. So we understand each other's games very well. Um, as I said, we've played a lot of cricket together, so it's been really good. I think just the attacking um, nature of a game, I think it's important to, um, I suppose, learn off the, part, the people you're batting with because I suppose you've always got things to work on. So she's always wanting to take the bowlers on, which is, which is great. Something that people might not know about Jess is she works in spare parts. She's actually a spare parts interpreter. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I think she even says she doesn't know what it is. So. Um, I have to ask her exactly what that is. Probably not many people would know that Meg Lanning is very messy. Um, her room every time I walk into it on a tour is just it's like a bomb hit it. So probably not many people would think that she's very messy but I can tell you she's one of the messiest players I've ever met. <laughs>